Hello everyone. In this episode, I wanted to show you how you can import more extreme poses into Marvelous Designer. Those that differ significantly from the A pose. So this is one such example. This is kind of a kickboxing pose that I liked and I brought this in on a custom character from Das Studio. So if you were to just import the morph target on the avatar, you might find that the garment it doesn't really follow along properly and the avatar stretches in weird ways. And I think that's because Marvelous Designer just uses a way of just using the shortest distance really from the A pose. So it doesn't have a skeleton or weight maps that allow to properly deform from one pose to the other. So let me show you the the issue here that what what can happen if you do it that way so this is the beginning of the project i'm using for reference i'm using marvelous designer 11 and this is the outfit i'm using that comes with the default library this will work in earlier versions of marvelous designer and i will show you how to how to fix this problem so here's the issue if i head over to file import obj and i have my target pose so this is my a pose here this is my target pose if i go and import that and tell Marvel's designer, okay, you have 30 frames. Open this as a morph target here. Then it'll find what object the morph target is made for and deforms the avatar in that way. So mine's from Das Studio. So if I do this, it goes ahead and tries to drape this on frame by frame. And this is the outcome. So the armhole has been missed. And so the deflation and inflation of the character, if you will, hasn't really worked out that well. And it'll be really, really difficult for me to now you know, match this part of the garment to that hand. So this hasn't, this hasn't worked really well. And so the trick to that is that we need to go and not give it one morph target, but multiple on their way to the poles. So I'll go and import my start project here again. And then I'll show you what I've done in my source app, which in this case is Das Studio. So I have a custom character here, and this works in apps other than Das Studio, of course. Mine is not the default Genesis 8 figure. It's kind of a mix between, I think, Monique and Olympia, just to make it a little bit fuller. And the pose I want to use for this is part of the Bodies in Motion poses pack. So if I double click that with my avatar selected, I can just find it here. This is this BIM jumping kick. That's the one. So I think I made a small adjustment on the hand here, but we'll, we'll dispense with that for a while. So if I exported this and try importing that in Marvelous Designer, we have a problem. So instead, what we'll do is we use the timeline and export several variations on the way to this pose. So I can just go and bring this back to the A pose. I'm on frame zero here, and I want to make sure that the A pose is on frame zero. So Control Z will do it in my case. But if I didn't have that, if I if I you know if Control Z for some reason doesn't work, and you've already got the pose here, you can also go back to the A pose by going into Edit Figure Zero figure pose that'll also bring your character back into the a pose while leaving all custom adjustments intact if you do this with zero figure then everything will be zeroed out and you'll be back to the genesis default figure so you don't want to do that so on frame zero we want to have this a pose now we go move our playhead over to frame 30. timeline length in this case doesn't matter and you go and apply the pose there so now we have the timeline that can interpolate between our A pose and our target pose. And here I can now export various poses from. So maybe I'm going to use, I don't know, frame 10 and frame 20 and maybe frame 25 or 26, something like that. So you already have the A pose, I would imagine. You already have the target pose. So now we go and interpolate it perhaps to frame 10. Then we say file export and then you put it into the directory that you want and make that, I don't know, variation one. And then you go and head over to maybe frame 15 or frame 20 and then you export this again as an obj as you know variation two and then maybe you need another one depends on how extreme your poses are and then you can export those in stages into marvelous designer so i've done my export process already and i can get on with importing this here so rather than heading over to file import into this directory here. I'm not going to go and use my end pose. I'm going to use the first variation that I have here. So mine's called jump kick 
pause version one. And if I interpolate that, it's much less. So I probably don't need 30 frames. 15 is probably enough here, but I need to yeah, open this and then import this as an object type of morph target with the same scale as your avatar. And then you essentially let Marvelous Designer do this process. So the change is much less extreme. Now we go to the next one. So same import process same directory this is now variation 2 and that is essentially slightly further ahead in the timeline and this is helping marvelous designer out to drape these more extreme poses so very simple trick but i thought you know sometimes it's important to be all vorrow about these things this is variation 3 and also sometimes it's important to think outside the box with that that is that we're nearly there import one more well, thank you for not remembering the directory into which I've just traversed. Thank you, Marvelous Designer. Much appreciated. UI changes, awesome and all that. There we go. Now we have my target pose, which now looks much better and I don't have any of these distortions. So yes, that's how you do that. Uh, DAS Studio isn't, of course, necessary for this. It will work with any app that you have. If you have any of these extreme poses, just don't use the A pose and use the morph target for the end pose. Just put a two or three poses in between and then interpolate that. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you like this video, then please share it with friends, family and total strangers. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.